What's up guys? It is day two of M-Wave 2024. I've got so much to show you. Yesterday was pretty busy on Friday. Today is gonna be a lot more busy, busier. It's funny, they moved up M-Wave last year, I think by a couple weeks, and there was a Comic-Con going on last year, and there's also a Comic-Con going on this year, some type of Comic-Con. Uh, so there's a bunch of people walking around. But yeah, they just started at M-Wave 2024. I think I'm gonna start you guys off with RBH because I've never seen them before. I've seen them on Shane Lee's channel, I've seen them on Gene's channel, but never experienced them. And yeah, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna let them tell you about the speakers and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so in a minute here, I'm gonna let Shane from RBH tell you about their front sound stage and that big 21 inch sub they have up front, but I recorded some more footage and the lav mic that I was using died on me. So rather than use bad audio from the camera, which sounds horrible, I'm just going to briefly tell you a couple specs. But this is their 661 SFM speaker. It's got a 6.5 inch phase plug on it. It's got an aluminum cone driver, and the midwoofers have a one and a quarter inch, or, or a one and a quarter inch. And then you can see they've got their quarter inch AMT tweeter. And I believe he's saying that you can either get get it in just a bookshelf or you can get it in like the fold tower, as you can see. Uh, it's you know I guess you can separate it into two to have a bookshelf or tower. And then next to that is their 85i new impression. And Shane said that this was their entry level tower speaker, and it has similar frequency response, has a similar frequency response to their larger tower. So again, I had some more footage, but uh, you know, these live shows are crazy. Anything can happen. You basically only get one take because, you know, this was in the middle of the day. So you don't really have time to, to reshoot, to do reshoot. So, you know, didn't get a chance to go back in there and re redo all that. And, you know, I appreciate Shane taking some time out of his, out of his day to, to record some stuff with me. I may just drop the footage on Patreon if you guys want to see that. But, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to let Shane tell you about the front soundstage, which is the most impressive thing about this room anyways hi i'm shane with rbh sound and we're here at m wave 2024 we're going to introduce you to the products that we have in our room that we're doing uh demoing with here at the show and we'll start off with the flagship uh this is the svtrs ax our flagship loudspeaker system full range um it's a monster in what it can do in terms of dynamic range and resolution, especially in this configuration that is a powered speaker or fully active speaker system. Uh, we have 1500 watts of power going to each of the subwoofer modules on the top and bottom. 500 watts of power going to the mid-range and 250 to the tweeter and all of this is integrated together with a, a DSP processor that does all of the uh, crossover work for the speaker system. Uh, it allows us to have a linear phase response from the loudspeaker uh, and gives us true time alignment for the loudspeaker. So the system is based off of this and uh, we have a center channel very similar to this configuration behind the the uh, screen that we're doing and all of the speakers that we're using for surround in the bed layer are based on a very similar platform to the main speakers our 821 which has two eight inch mid-range drivers and our four inch amt tweeter um, very high resolution again high dynamic range and this is also an active speaker so that we have uh, a uh, amplifier for both the tweeter and mid-range section um, for our surround or i should say our atmos speakers we have a uh, little smaller speakers that we use for this and uh, our angled 61 it's a new product here at the show that we're uh, showing for the first time and uh, of course gives you that immersive surround that Atmos does so we're really excited to be here um, it's an amazing show 
Uh, we sure hope if you're not able to visit and be here this year that you can make an effort to be here next year uh, because it's a fan pl fantastic place to come and hear just the highest performance home theater systems available. For our subwoofer system that we're using to supplement the main channels, we have our 21 SFR. Uh, this is a very unique subwoofer. Uh, we uh, designed, uh, purpose-built for uh, this type of theater installation where you have a relatively short space that you're trying to fit a subwoofer into. Uh, so it's very relatively thin, only 15 inches deep, and uh, it's wider, but as you can see, it uses a 21-inch carbon fiber cone. It's a dual-layer cone with uh, aerogel-type uh, damping material in between the sandwich uh, layers, and that helps prevent any spurious resonance from the cone, it keeps it nice and damp. It's extremely rigid, very pistonic, has uh, you know over a hundred millimeters of mechanical throw to the driver, so really high output capability. And it has a 3 dB down point anechoically of 12 hertz. In most rooms we're able to extend that to 10 or even single digit uh, 3 dB down point. Uh, that is powered by its own 4,000 watt subwoofer amplifier. And uh, the other thing that's unique about this subwoofer is uh, the granular acoustic damping system that we use in the enclosure, which really helps to dissipate the uh, enormous energies that are trapped inside the enclosure. Uh, and it converts that uh, acoustic energy into heat and what that results in is very tight, accurate bass. Uh, so very low Q system and uh, very linear, uh, nice, tight, accurate, and extremely dynamic. Okay, I just got out of the RBH room. They played the quiet scene part two in the very beginning when the aliens first attack. That room is thumping. And Shane Lee, I saw the sub, the very sub that they're gonna be sending you. Shane told me that 
they're sending that to you. So I got to see before you, Shane. But uh, I can attest that room is sounds exquisite. I'm a fan of RBH now. Super clean, super tight. Uh, I mean, dynamic range is off the charts. I don't know if they only got that one subwoofer in there, but that thing is rocking. So when the aliens come down and it, you know, when they first, uh, when John Krasinski's character meets up with the policeman and the alien runs into the to the police car, man, the bass in there was incredible. And then again, when the aliens attack, you know, they fall in the car, the bus, awesome. So that was my first time checking out RBH. Love the demo. If you guys are here, if you guys come here next year, you gotta check it out, man. RBH is, is the real deal and I'm, I'm super impressed. So I guess I'll take you around some of the other rooms. All right, guys, so right now I am sitting in the, one of the Valencia seats here at M-Wave 2024. They're actually the sponsor of this video. And I've got one of the sales rep here to tell you all about the seating. If you guys wanna check out Valencia Theater seating, if you watch the channel, you know, Valencia is into my home theater. Love these guys. And if you're able to come out to M-Wave 2024, even 2025, you can see them in person. One of the only places that you can really see these chairs in person. So I'll let the representative tell you all about it. Hey guys, welcome to M-Wave 2024. My name's Lucas. I'm with Valencia Home Theater Seating. This is our actually our, one of our newest models, the Tuscany Ultimate, heated and ventilated. I'm sitting in a gorgeous Napa 20,000 chair. This comes with headrest, lumbar, full power recline, black chrome accessory ports, cup holders and control finish. We also have one touch memory and full adjustable RGB lighting. We also have a Pernesian velour line armrest, an absolutely gorgeous, supportive and comfortable chair for all of your home theater needs. They work great in living rooms, home theater cinemas, whatever you guys need, it works great for all sort of atmospheres. Now I'm sitting in one of our newest additions to the Valencia family, our Monza Carbon Fiber Edition. This model, as what you've seen on YouTube, comes with headrests, lumbar, full power recline. You also have full adjustable RGB lighting with dimmable settings. You also have one touch memory, so you can always go back to your favorite spot at any given time. So in that way, you can always enjoy your theater. So these are some of the other models that we have here to be able to view at M-Wave 2024. This is our Oslo Ultimate model. Again, Napa 20,000 leather, headrest, lumbar, full power recline, one touch memory, full adjustable RGB lighting. It is also available in an XL model. Now, as you come down here, this is our Barcelona Ultimate. A lot of the same features as well. We have headrest, lumbar, full power recline, one touch memory, full adjustable RGB lighting, black chrome accessory ports, cup holders and control finish. Then we actually have one of our newest additions to the family, which is actually our Tuscany Executive Heat and Massage. It also comes with a special diamond print on it. Now to quickly speak about our customizable features, we can do multiple different colors across all of our different lines. We offer Pernesian Velour, Napa 11,000, 15,000, 20,000 leather with a different range of various colors. We also have Linea and Tuscania leathers as well. We can do base shakers, XL custom size, wood arm fronts. We offer a huge custom uh, array of different things that we can do. Thank you guys very much for checking out this video. We are hope to see you guys here at M-Wave 2024. If not, we'll catch you at 2025. So to close out Saturday is going to be our revolution. So I did a dedicated video with Raphael that's already up on the channel. If you want to see a full dedicated video of Raphael talking about our revolution, go check that out. But yeah, Raphael was here. I reached out to him, saw that he was going to be at M-Wave and I reached out to him prior to M-Wave and asked him if he wanted to you know have a dedicated video and he was like yeah sure and you know i've been been talking to him for a while i'm gonna have him on a live stream probably next month in july and have him on there to talk more in depth about the features but they've got the new nos player and that's coming to the united states huge huge capacity on that thing and then here he's showing us you know some of the uh the the background video that plays when you click on a movie you know the mo little movie poster thumbnail thing and one of the cool features is now that you can group movies you can put them in a group and you can play them kind of like a kaleidoscape where you can play demo reels but i'm still not quite sure on how that actually works because with the kaleidoscape you can actually go in and select any scene for any time segment for any movie 
So I'm curious if you can do the same thing with the Arvolution, or is it just, hey, put these movies in a group and then press play, because obviously you don't want to play the whole movie as a demo. So I'm curious to get him on the channel, have him elaborate more on that. New fe But new feature is really cool. And then they've got their new Arvolution Player Mini, I think it's called. So Raphael said that, you know, a lot of people were asking for a smaller player. Obviously, the small at a you know, a more affordable price. And so they have their their player mini, and it kind of looks like Zadoo a little bit, it resembles Zadoo. I think it's got more antennas, and you can mount it like behind your TV. So you can either have it you know, sitting on a stand, you could have it in a rack, or you can mount it behind your TV, and it's super portable because it's small. So really cool to have that there you know I, I understand a lot of people who had Zipidi before invested in Zipidi they may not take well to our evolution since it looks like it's almost kind of the same thing totally understandable totally justifi justifiable but you know don't shoot the messenger Raphael is a super cool guy really knowledgeable if you if you saw him on my live stream earlier and I will be getting a he talk about, about what happened with that company review. So and he, he I don't really expect got it to be too that. different dude, from like months without you know paid. So the player one that I have now, yeah, he's a good guy. But I know and, some people are going to want to have him on the channel you know, to what talk it looks more about like, that. how you it functions, if it's snappy. Ask him questions directly on so, the channel. So yeah, there's also yeah, I'm super excited about that. Now. Super Not excited about the new sure Evolution player. I mean, one sounds pretty straightforward. You can use it offline. Raphael did talk about it a little bit in the dedicated video, but when I have him on the channel, I'll have him elaborate more on that and exactly what that means but that'll be cool you know if it can work offline I'm, I'm assuming you may not get some features but you'll still be able to play your content regardless so new stuff coming from our evolution stay tuned for that and then he also showed off some of their bridgy cables really good cables i actually have i'm using one of their hdmi like 8k cables from my epson ls 12000 b to the hd fury 4k diva i met the bridgy team at I believe it was Cedia for the first time had never heard of them got to talk to them did a video on there uh, you know on the channel and uh, they asked me if I wanted to review some products and I was like yeah if you guys can send me a I think it was like a 40 foot cable or something like that and yeah that thing's been flawless ever since haven't had any issues with it so Bridgie's bringing out some more some more cables I think I might request some other cables I know Raphael was telling me you know feel free to ask for any Bridgie cables to review so I might check that out as well but yeah, I think that's going to close it out for Saturday unfortunately I didn't get to see the Gramani systems room that was the only room that I didn't get to see I did get to see the Ascendo room but it was pitch black in there I took my camera in there and I tried to record there was absolutely no way I was going to get any like usable footage out of that room it's just it was it, it was a smaller room much smaller room than like JTR and RBH and it was pitch black. So unfortunately, I don't have those rooms. But stay tuned on Sunday because I do have uh, an interview, a pretty lengthy interview that I did with some guys that I think you'll be you'll find interesting. And then I'll talk more about the my experience with the JTR room. I did a dedicated video on that, but I haven't really talked about you know my experience in that room, listening, being a viewer, as opposed to you know recording and filming. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in day three. So in the past, uh, all called me Cinemike because I'm working for Cinematrics and uh, that fits also the company after that started also with cinema <laughs> Cine uh, so it was uh, I was always the Cinemike so that was uh, the, the idea to uh, make the brand out of that